Beneath Grotto Mountain is a large cave system called the Rat's Nest, a favorite with local spelunkers. We started early again on this hike because we are going to ascend from the parking for Rat's Nest, but terminate the hike five kilometers down the road after summiting. It's called a point-to-point -point hike and involved a taxi ride to make it work. It's great to see the shrubby sangfoil still putting out blossoms. It's generally just steep walking to the summit of Grotto Mountain. There are a couple of bits, however, that were pleasant scrambling, and we have speeded up the cliffs just a tad to keep it interesting. This is a great hike because you get views of the Bow River Valley most of the way. Once past this cliff, we'll get to a viewpoint that makes a fine place to have a snack and take in the scenery. Like with most viewpoints, there's a bit of drop-off you do need to be careful around. Once past the viewpoint, tree line is not far away, and the rest of the route stays on scree slopes, rocky outcrops, or boulder fields. We're heading for that light brown ridge in the distance, but there are still some challenges to overcome getting there. You see how the Bow River meanders down the valley. Here is one of the boulder fields I mentioned before. This is the start of the undulating ridge top that leads to the summit. The town you've been seeing below in the valley is Canmore. We'll be continuing along this lovely ridge for another four kilometers before we descend. In the middle of the ridge walk, after about two kilometers, however, is the summit. There was a small crowd of people there, but I did my victory wave anyway. The crowd didn't stay long though, and soon we had the summit to ourselves to do our spinny pano. There's the Bow River flowing to Calgary, and Larry, and finally Canmore in the valley. Just beyond the summit is a fascinating rock formation, a window in the rock you can look through. From the summit, there was a further two kilometers of beautiful ridge to walk along before we started our descent. The entire four kilometer ridge is over 1,200 meters or 4,000 feet above the trailhead. We return to the valley, descending endless scree slopes. Passing through alpine meadows. And winding our way through more forest. We'll end the video with distant views of the famous Three Sisters and a clip of what Grotto Mountain looks like from the car.